that's where the Avengers are. Now I know. They're hanging in Puducherry. In Pondicherry. Mm. Girl? You have a nice haircut and a nice hair style today. I like it and it goes well with your clothes or with your dress. Is that an Indian hairstyle? I don't know. I think it is. Well, welcome to Puducherry. Pondicherry. Well, here, but soon we'll travel further down south. Of course, time uh, runs quickly, always. We would have loved to stay here more. We love the place, but it's, you know, we love the apartment. If you have not seen the video, check it out. It's the one that, you know, before this, or no, or two before this, or something like that. We're out in the hottest time of the day, in the hottest time of the year. Yes. So if you're here in May, you know, rather go out in the mornings and in the late afternoons and evenings, and then it's nice. We don't mind so much uh, because we're used to the heat. But if you're not, if you just want to avoid the heat, you know, which I can understand, uh, yeah, afternoon, right? We've actually just came back from another stroll at the beach and the park down there is really good. And now we just want to, we're well, not too hungry, but a little bit hungry. So, and at the same time, there's a hunt that I want to invite you to. It's a hunt for the Indian coffee house here in Pondicherry. Pondicherry. I don't know what I should say. Pondicherry or Puducherry. You guys know what I mean. I'm in all for the traditional names, but of course also I am for the name that people like me to call it, right? Anyway, so this is uh, actually I do want to go and check out the Indian coffee house here in Pondicherry, which is quite famous. I mean, at least amongst geeks like me who like old stuff and old coffee houses not like the, the new stuff and new coffee houses google actually says it's quite near here so let's go check it out it's on the way anyway on the way well, actually on the way back to the to that beach we're not going back to the beach now but we're going to that coffee house yeah it's like one o'clock in the afternoon uh, not the best time to be roaming around, right? Lots of people drinking sugarcane juice. Obviously. <laughs> I find great about India is you get, you get your phone fixed, you get everything fixed for very cheap. That's a good thing. Uh, what I love here is also these uh, general uh, rickshaws, you know. That's like a huge auto rickshaw, huge uh, tuk-tuk that takes, you know, guests, like a function to the bus. That's a very smart thing and cool. I roamed these streets uh, yesterday late in the afternoon. There was a lot more going on. I mean, there's a lot going on. It was, much, but there was much more atmosphere, I must say. And these guys selling belts. I saw them everywhere yesterday. <laughs> Apparently, they're making lots of belts here in Dundicherry. Yeah, you can see. See, the sun is hot. Oops, sorry, sir. There must be a famous temple back there, apparently, if this, these arcs are there, right? So that's what my subscribers told me. It is uh, time some, for some refreshments. But where the hell is that Indian coffee house that I look for so dearly? That's it. I said there's not much going on, but I'm, um, yeah. The thing is, these streets, all here in the center of Puducherry, oh, there's lots of these streets, right? There are more happening, like, after, in the, in, after four or five, you know? And probably in the, hello, sir? Probably in the evening. I mean, there's lots of people here, but it's not, it's less atmosphere. It's still okay. You want some underwear? Hello, sir? Nice underwear? Hello, sir? Wanna come? So where is they? they, they the Indian coffee house must be here somewhere. Maybe I am walking by it and don't realize it. I'm not sure. No, no. It's coming up, I think. Yeah, Mr. Google says it's coming up up there. Yeah, so this is, if you want some cucumbers, that's the place. 
and of course there are there are you know salesmen saleswomen everywhere here in the center of town selling fruits selling shoes selling sandals selling all kinds of things they have been getting some comments that I should not uh, show dirt or poor places I don't think that I do particularly but you know so it's the same uh, some people want to only show the fancy fancy parts and the very clean parts of the country I, me myself I wouldn't care if someone would show let's say the dirty side of Switzerland <laughs> I'd actually be very fascinating of seeing that on seeing that I'll oh, check it out a mask you know people told me to wear masks how about a monkey mask these garlands I think they're plastic right they're plastic fantastic yeah yeah it's the coffee place but it's not the place we want we want yeah that old Indian coffee house which is cool I'll check it out the market hi I mean, I, I want to check out that market real quick yeah this is cool very nice fruit market lots of different bananas lots of different fruits actually oh wow it's pretty cool but actually I want to go to that that coffee house maybe I'll maybe after I'll come back and buy some fruits yeah I think that's the smartest thing to do let's do that okay hey Ollie. let's go let's go let's go and have some some snacks big market that's a perfect place for a market hunt but we're on a on an Indian coffee house hunt right yeah, of course I'm, I'm I've always since ever since I came to India I fell in love with these Indian coffee house I mean I'm talking about this chain right this is one particular chain that's been around for lots of time lot, lot of, for a long time not India a uh, coffee house in India uh, per se you know I, I mean I don't care about coffee houses but the Indian coffee houses they have like this this flair this air about them of the old India which I like so much I have like two videos I have one of the Bangalore coffee in your coffee house and the one of Calcutta Kolkata I'm sorry and now I'll hopefully will shoot one from here <laughs> and yeah but I've been to more anyway I plan on shooting some more videos because I think it's very special there's a group out a big market I think this is all fascinating you know I mean I wonder why some people tell me to not film places like this this is amazing this is uh, these people are all like set on showing only like a certain part of the country not but that is yeah thank you not right now not like that the, the old heritage that the, the, the actual you know um, how, how most people actually live and work and, and buy and you know so I, I don't know why they doesn't make sense India is such an old and an interesting country you know lots of culture lots of traditions and and that mix of, of all of it is is what what makes it interesting what's what makes it cool for for the kids to walk about they don't want to walk about in in a clean Western environment that's just not not very interesting to them they wake up you know when it's when it's vibrant when something is happening Indian coffee house I can see it see right after that lady with that bucket which is very cool too which probably some people would not have also not find cool but hey I I do don't worry about it yeah here the Indian coffee house cool check out the blue doors and the blue blue terrace now oh, let's go and check it out huh let's go in there oh wow 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 Hopefully we'll find a seat. Oh yes we do. Yes we do. Oh very cool. Check it out how grand. Oh wow. I'm loving this. Yeah, here's the Indian coffee house. Really cool. Really cool. I like it. Oh, wow. Very cool. Let's sit right here. 
Oh here? No, maybe there. To the corner there's more light. It's a bit darkish. But yeah, here we have this light. So this is the, the menu, Indian coffee house. I wonder if they went up with the prices, you know, like let's say within the last year. I have everything. <laughs> wow. Another menu. I don't know which one is the right one, but I think it's the same one. Yeah. No, here, here, coffee is 25. Here, it's 24. I'll take a coffee from that side. <laughs> ordered a few snacks generally not so much hungry but it's cool here I like it and here you can see the kitchen or part of the kitchen very cool let's go upstairs just check it out all right the stairs are not the cleanest in India but you know this is like this is like where, where well, the, the thinking society hangs out. Right? You don't care about no clean floors. And you, uh, uh, there's no, ah, uh, this is not in, in service actually. No, sir? Oh, no, I was just looking. It's very nice. But here there are no tables. No, this is uh, unused. But before? Unused place. Ah, only downstairs. Only downstairs only. Oh. No, upstairs. How many years this? How many years it's, is this? It's uh, 56 years. 56 so, years? Yeah. But sometime it was in another building. Yes. So the refurbishment. Yes, sir. But this is cool. I like it. Very nice. I'll go look, sir. That's it. Thank you. All right. Okay, so it's only the place downstairs. But it's still, it's quite cool. It's a cool building. And check out the old signboard. I like it. I do. Very cool. Wow. That is ah yeah. Unused the place. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe it will be used uh, again. Under, underground. Okay. Uh, ground floor. All right. I'll I'll eat something. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. It's too bad. Uh, that would have been that would make make a, a, a great place. Anyway, so let's grab a snack and grab a coffee. Gotta try try the coffee here, right? Mahatma Gandhi, of course. A fine ty type, a fine coffee, both are Indian. Oh yes, well, I'll try that, okay? I actually haven't had uh, any coffee here. Yeah. It's very much frequented with uh, by elderly men, obviously. You know, the gray hair, the white shirts. That's cool. I'm a soccer for these places. Too bad that the the, the uh, waiters don't wear turbans here like they did in uh, in Kolkata. I remember clearly in Kolkata it was like uh, <laughs> the staff, the waiters, all they could think of is getting a, a tip here. They're normal, normal, not too friendly, actually quite unfriendly. That's just indifferent. Let's call it that way. Uh, that's okay. I mean. I don't mind, uh, and people just treat me. I mean, like in Switzerland, for example, uh, a waiter would not be particularly friendly. It just she does a job, she brings you food, she's friendly enough, you're paid. It's all good. Now the baby is sleeping. Now I'll feed him later on. Actually, uh, <laughs> It's lunch, so there's not many, many, many things to eat. Uh, I'm ordered a samba rice because most people are actually eating samba rice. And uh, yeah, seems to be a good idea, but everybody else is not so um, hungry because we had a late uh, breakfast, so they're having like omelets and toast and uh, some juice. And I will definitely also try a coffee here because you know that's what one does. Sambar rice came with a babadam and I don't know this is a this is some kind of a I don't know this is a what's it called a pickles or chutney I'm not sure well 
put this here on the side and the rice came with a spoon so I'll try to eat this with a spoon right? mm. everybody else has actually oh, <laughs> with toast it looks good <laughs> you, all, all of you ordered toast and omelets come on let's try, let's try this uh, and I'm not sure what this is. Maybe pickles. Mm. Oh yeah. It's like very sour. See that? I don't have my monitor so I cannot see. If you see. But anyway, I, I'm using that spoon because most people are, are using a spoon here. Normally I would eat this with my hands, but you know. Here here at the Indian coffee house, everybody's eating with my spoon. And I should hey, let's try this. So never put it too much. Maybe mix it up. There's uh, some bar rice. Yeah, I like it. I mean, I've had some rice before. I like. Sometimes, me, I always, I always am, but, you know, 
You cannot be put too pushy, you know, and tell them, hey, here I am, talk to me, right? That's not how it works. See, if, if they have a late breakfast, they don't want their lunch, and I, I'll have... I'm going to go, i have a little bit more. This is actually fantastic. Yeah, this would be like the most European Indian food that I, I know. It's really very good. I mean, I prefer Indian food to Swiss food actually, or European food. But I, I like their omelette or their bread, and that bread is very, very European. I mean, a toast. Yeah, we don't eat so much bread in Switzerland. We make really good bread there, but not not so much toasted. Not like in England. You, you got a grape juice. That's good, right? Is it, is it good? Do you like it? Oh, oh. that's a little bit. The zip. Don't worry. Oh my God, it's very good. And we can see the coffee. Uh, yeah, I'd like to have one of those. Well, I'm gonna have to have a coffee. I ordered some coffee as well. That juice, but I tell you, there's a, there's lots of sugar in that juice. There's no grape juice is that sweet, but it's it, it, it seems there seem to be anyway lots of fresh grapes in it, and um, yeah, some some ice. <laughs> it's some uh, some sugar. Ah, we got some coffee. Very good. Thank you so much. That is now. A little bit, not not as cool as them, but I still like like the coffee. Look at Lilo with the gold. So let's try the coffee, oh, the famous coffee in the Indian at the Indian coffee house. It's good. <laughs> it's, it's, it's good coffee, but it's not like it's really good actually. Very good. Uh, on the sweet side, of course, because any beverage in India will be pretty much on the on the sweet side. Oh, and probably that's probably not right, of course. But you know, if if you have a coffee or a tea, it'll be mostly sweet. Uh, Want to try coffee now? <laughs> I hope you eat this. I'm all done now. I'm not that hungry in the beginning, but. I had quite some of their omelet and their amazing toast. I mean, these are really just, they're like the best toast ever. Not, not, not that is waste. Very sweet, don't forget that. Yeah. But it's okay. <laughs> Strong is good. Strong is, of course, good. Ask me which, which Indian coffee house the coffee was the best. They're all good. They're all probably the same. I'm not sure. They're probably not the same, but they taste very much the same, you know. And I'm not, not someone who really knows his way around coffee. A nice place where, unfortunately, uh, a lot of the snacks will come later in the day uh, uh, from uh, 3 30. Or, or for breakfast, of course, but still, it was good. It was good to see this very cool uh, Indian coffee house, which, which does not have an upper floor, which uh, kind of surprises me. But I still like it. I do. Alright, guys, let's go. Uh, I would have liked to uh, uh, try the dosa here, ma or masala dosa, which uh, they were apparently very famous in, uh, in the Kolkata branch. Oh, is it the Mangalore branch? Not sure. Anyway, guys, uh, do visit here when you come by for a piece of not too old Indian culture, but still, it's a part of Indian culture that uh, has also like ties with Europe. So now, so I feel like it's somewhere in between between India and European culture, like the mingles and mingles. Uh, it's kind of cool. Although I'm happy to be back in full India now.
Hey guys, it was good and uh, I bid you farewell and my family says yeah, goodbye. Are you? Bye bye. bye, -bye. They are disciplined and well behaved. <laughs> okay guys, bye bye. Cheers. Take care. Bye bye. Uh, P.S. I always forget about I talk about prices. Yeah, it's, a, it's not like some super cheap street food of course, but it's not super expensive either. So we ate and drank and uh, it was like for six dollars. It was like 480 rupee six dollars which is well, quite okay I thought I mentioned that